This video is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, it is a general reading, so not everything will resonate with everyone. It is for the uh, second half of September. Um, I already started and tried to do your video. Uh, people kept messaging me and I was trying to exit out of it. I was moving the camera all around. The messages kept popping up even though I wasn't touching them. Um, it, okay, so we, are, we already have some cards laid out here. Um, so I'm going to leave them. But I had to start over the video. Okay, so um, when I was meditating on your energy, I saw leaves and trees. Okay, I saw this like teepee looking hut thing out in like a... Um, forest or something it was definitely out in like nature with a lot of like greenery and stuff around it um, I saw the color red lots and lots of red um, go going into like this tunnel vision like going in and out okay um, and then I also saw, saw like some little peeping like from from here you know little peeping eyes coming in from like a, a side and over kind of back to my over my shoulder to the side okay um, so what I gathered from that is that there, there's maybe some of you are needing to go um, into nature be uh, you know get grounded um, possibly with the TP or the hut that thing that I saw um, possibly you need to take some time for yourself okay um, and be grounded or look search within for some things um, the red that I saw there that could be dealing with passion some of you could be dealing with some passionate situations or um, like fiery energy like wanting to to move quickly or or act quickly on a situation there was this the tunnel thing that I saw that could be like if you have you know tunnel vision on something if you're really focused on something that could be the thing that you're wanting to um, act on uh, quickly and then those little eyes so the, the little eyes they were kind of mischievous looking so I mean they looked a little like stalkerish but not like in a like serial killer kind of way but just like um I don't know like little peeping game came to mind when I opened my eyes somebody peeping game also um that you could be like kind of having some little creeper or like stalker type tendencies of you know as far as social media or something like that or someone could be having that with you okay so that's kind of what I gathered from what I saw in meditation before I pulled your cards okay then everybody want to mes message me and things want to fucking go crazy on my on my video or whatever so I had to start over we do have some cards already out I would um, I normally don't shuffle on camera because it takes time it's loud I feel like my videos are already long enough and people don't have a big tension span but um, some people have said that they will rather see me shuffle on camera because I guess people just lay out anything and, and don't actually I, I don't know why okay but they want to see me shuffle on camera so Capricorn you let me know in the comments below what you want me to do how you want me to do it if you want me to shuffle on camera or you don't really care and I'll do your videos that way but tonight we're gonna shuffle on camera aside from what's already laid out because of the little difficulties that we had so so far you have the Empress coming out first card um, she is about um, pregnancy and nurturing and nature and creativity and things like that she's sort of the mother of all things um, but you also got the ten of swords underneath that so this could do with some um, you know endings some possibly like stabbing in the back some sort of betrayal something something like that somebody walking away from a situation it's it's done whatever it is it's a completed cycle so when I saw that I was saying that um, the the Empress also has a negative side okay because it is so much about nature that it's like um, just like nature um, gives life and has all these beautiful aspects to it it also 
has a negative side like a destructive side, okay, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, things like that. So um, also, you know, because she is a mother, because she is a nurturer, she can sometimes be uh, smothering, okay. After the Empress, you got the Four of Cups, okay. Four of Cups, this man, you can see like there's a woman behind him with food, two women in front of him with food. He's already got food on the table in front of him. There's food already in the middle of the table beside from what they're serving. There's cups on the table already full. There's another vase full of stuff, and he's got a cup in front of him that's already full. So he's got all of these servants, all of this food, all of this abundance, and yet look how he's looking. He's like, like he don't even want it or he don't care to be there it's not that he's in a bad situation it's just that the situation is boring to him or it's not for him for whatever reason reason okay after the after the four of cups you got the six of rods okay this man is up there like looking victorious or whatever and he has eaten up all of this um energy from the crowd all of this uh recognition that he's getting all right he's got some roses down there at his feet and he's just like lapping up that that public recognition okay and then you get the hangman after that so there's possibly a situation or a decision um that you are in limbo about kind of maybe taking it all in uh before you make a decision or being hesitant about it for some reason or just kind of um in suspension of some kind for whatever reason that you got this king of cups that came out okay it did come out in reverse all right king of cups is uh, this is a this is a, a understanding um, energy it's it's emotionally stable it is um, calmer energy It could be a water sign, could be doing dealing with um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but it did come out in reverse, so it could be, you know, uh, um, not so understanding, okay, could, could be a little bit manipulative, all right, could be um, pretty much the opposite of what it is right side up, okay, and then after that you got this King of Rods that came out with that, because the, the, uh, Six of Rods, the Hangman, the King of Cups, and the King of Rods actually came out together. They shot out of, this, of the deck together. Um, King of Rods, this, this is a fire energy, could be dealing with a fire sign or someone with fire in their charts. Um, it's, it is a very fast acting sort of energy, it does have to do with creativity. Um, it's a more passionate energy. Okay, this person is very, like, attractive, charismatic type of thing. All right. Um, okay, and then I already told you, like, you got the Ten of Swords came out underneath the Empress. Okay, so now we're going to continue for Capricorn for the second half of September. Get some clarification on this Four of cups here. And you get the four of rods. Okay, so another four run underneath the four of cups. All right, four of rods is about, um, could have to do with marriage, could have to do with uh, coming together. There's a, a harmony, a balance. It's it's about, it's communication, okay? Um, and four, the number four is about stability and security and like uh, solid foundations and things like that. Not taking that big stack. <laughs> that was a big ass stack and I'm not taking it. Capricorns, I man. Cap I remember the last time, your last reading Capricorn, it was like y'all had some shit going. And I think I tried to load your video several times also. And y'all was giving me issues. <laughs> Capricorn. So let's get some clarification on this Six of Rods. See what we can see about that.
Okay. Since these big ass stacks keep flying out, I'll take it. Because obviously it's not going to stop. Okay. So. We get the star. Okay. Comes out in reverse. This could be Aquarius. Um, doesn't have to be. Comes out in reverse. So, uh, you. You, it, you normally, you know, it means hope and, and things like that. So it could be, you know, you feel like you don't have any hope for whatever reason. Can maybe, maybe you feel like giving up. All right, Ten of Swords comes out after that. Um, two of Swords. I'm sorry. I was like, Ten of Swords? Y'all already got... Okay, yeah, no. Two of Swords. Okay, Two of Swords is about um, making a decision, all right? Um... You see this guy, he's like kind of got his back to it. Like he doesn't want to face the situation kind of thing. He doesn't really want to see what's going on. And you get that under, you get the star in reverse under the six of rods. And you get the two of swords underneath the hangman. You know, remember I said, you know, might be in limbo about something in suspension. And you get this two of swords under that, not wanting to make a decision or not wanting to see a situation for what it is. Then you get the two of rods after that, okay, so this is somebody that's at a crossroads, and you get that underneath the king of cups, which came out in reverse, okay. Um, the seven of rods came out after that, okay, this is, um, you know, a, a battle, okay, going on of some sort. That comes out under the king of rods, and I told you the king of rods is all, of, you know, acting... It's a, it's a fast energy, okay, and it is a king. Then you get the Six of Cups coming out, but it comes out in reverse, okay? Six of Cups comes out in reverse. Now, Six of Cups um, is about, like, she's she's looking out there for something, but, you know, looking for, like, a... Um, it has to do with looking in the past or looking to a short childhood or... or um, To a, to a simpler time, maybe, okay, but she looks, she looks like she's dreaming or like wishing upon a star or some shit, all right, um, but came out in reverse, all right, so you could be, uh, moving out of the past, okay, uh, not wanting to be stuck there or, or possibly not wanting to repeat a situation from the past, okay, and that comes out, I'm, I'm underneath the, Ten of Swords and the Empress. Then you get the King of Swords that comes out. Okay, King of Swords. This is uh, air energy, and it or it doesn't have to be. It's just the energy, but it could be air sign. Uh, but this is a very like intellectual man. All right, this is a this is a charming gentleman. Okay. Then you get the Justice card coming out over that. So here you have Libra making their presence known in your reading Capricorn. Um, so if this is about truth and fairness, okay, coming out. And you get that um, under the Six of Rods and the Star. And I think last time y'all had um, quite a bit of like kind of dark emotional type of energy going on with y'all. Okay, then you get the Three of Pentacles coming out, alright. Three of Pentacles is about, like, group um, collaboration, working together. Okay, you see that man, he's putting that, that disc, that pinnacle in that window pane to make it complete. Okay, so he had to put together all of this. So it's like coming together, it's a group effort, okay, of some sort. And you get that underneath the... Uh, hanged man and the two of swords then the last one comes the knight of cups okay knight of cups is usually a love offer or some somebody coming with an offer for something to you it's interesting because you get that under this king of cups which was in reverse so it's pop possibly uh, a somewhat emotionally unstable person 
possibly somewhat of a manipulative person or just not as steady as you may like them to be. This, and this could be you, could be you, could be the person that you're dealing with. But this could be the person that is making this offer. And remember over that King of Cups in reverse, you got this um, Two of Rods, okay? And that's about crossroads. You know, you're, you're at a crossroads trying to make a decision possibly about this, this offer that is being made. Every other row has three, so I'm going to see if we can get one more for this last row. Make it even. I like even. I'm OCD. Another big fucking stack. Y'all would. Y'all would. Okay, even if it's uneven this time, we're not going to take any more unless Spirit says so. Okay, so um, the sun flies out. Okay. Sun is about um, warmth and things coming into the light. Like I said, last time y'all had a lot of darker energy going on. Y'all had a lot of, um, uh, I wanna say y'all had a lot of secrets, a lot of um, emotional pain, a lot of heartbreak, okay? A lot of heartache. Um, so you have this coming out over the seven of rods. Okay, and then you get this five of pentacles that comes out. All right, that's going to come out over this six of cups. Five of pentacles is about someone being left out in the cold. It's about loss, financial or otherwise. Okay, some, somebody's losing something here, being left out in, um, in the cold, probably going to get left behind. Then you have this queen of swords, okay, that comes out. It comes out in reverse. Queen of swords coming out in reverse to me is a cold-hearted bitch. All right, and you get that underneath um, this... Four of Cups, Four of Rods, King of Swords. Okay, then you get the Six of Swords and it comes out in reverse. Six of Swords is about moving on, leaving something behind to move forward. Okay, so you see them, they're in this raft or on this raft rather, uh, leaving wherever to go, wherever, somewhere new. Okay, but it comes out in reverse. So. You may be stuck in a situation, you may be, um, like, because, okay, so that, that's overlaying the Six of Rods, the Star which came out in reverse, the Justice, and the Six of Swords comes out overlaying all of those. So, um, you may be trying to resist, maybe you don't want to leave whatever you know you need to leave behind to move forward, okay? And then you get this Three of Cups coming out in reverse, okay? And I'm pretty sure y'all got this last time. This is the, normally when it comes out to me like this, it is a third party situation in a relationship type of thing, but it can also be addiction. And I remember my meditation on y'all last time, there was a lot of addiction going on, a lot of, a lot of substance abuse, okay? Um, and that's what this is. could be, you know, overindulgence could be third party party situation and it comes out over this hanged man, this two of swords, and this three of pentacles. Okay, now we're getting some more five. No wonder the stacks are flying out. Okay, so then you get this five of swords. All right. This is uh uh about like confrontation. Okay, it's it's about like victory okay these people you see they're they're victorious they're holding up their swords in the back and this guy but look at he's got this it's a woman and a child like they're they're helpless they're no match okay but he's like ready to slay them so it's like a victory at all costs type of thing okay now that's coming out over this um king of cups in reverse this crossroads and this knight of cups on the bottom you have this wheel of fortune but it comes in reverse okay and that is um, some some negative energies against you fi fighting the the natural order of things okay temptation I mean not temptation resistance now so with this first act you have this this empress or let's, let's do it this way. You have the Five of Pentacles leaving somebody behind or somebody being left out in the cold with this Six of Cups coming out in reverse. So um, so not wanting to repeat the past, possibly because because there's already been some, some betrayal, some stabbing in the back. Okay, it's over. I think you know it's over. There's possibly someone here that has been 
um, being smothered. You, you could be smothering someone or you could be uh, being smothered by someone, okay? Um, this is a destruction of some sort. It's definitely the cycle's come to an end, but it looks like you might be a little bit hesitant about leaving it behind still, okay? Even though you know what's going on. You get this this four of cups. Or we'll do it this way. The, we'll go backwards. The queen of swords. This is a cold-hearted person. This is a very. This person doesn't give a fuck. They say it like it is, and they really don't care. She says it like it is, anyways. But she is composed. Okay, she's independent. But when she comes out in reverse, she's very. I see her as a cold-hearted bitch. Okay, and she don't give a fuck about who she hurts. So it's one thing being blunt and being forward is another thing doing it and not giving a fuck about who it hurts You're just really having no kind of feelings about whatever the fuck is coming out of your mouth right so um and that is overlaying this king of swords now this is a very like intellectual person this could be two different people but it could be just two sides of the same person so um there's possibly this this charming intellectual cold-hearted person all right um with this four of rods coming out so and there's there's something something to do with communication and a marriage or a a long lasting relationship it doesn't have to be like a marriage on paper um could could be just a very like long it's also it's like engagement okay so so there could be um, some sort of like an engagement in this situation or a disengagement because this four of cups I mean this dude is like look at how frumpy that dude is looking so there's a situation that uh, I feel like you are bored in having to do you know with an engagement or being engaged in this this situation with this intellectual type of energy um, that that's very cold it's a very cold maybe you're the one that's being cold or maybe the the one that you're dealing with is being cold but I mean like this dude is not appreciating shit okay and and is is just super super cold to whatever this um, communication or engagement is you know with this this kind of charming intellectual energy behind it Okay, now this, this Six of Rods coming out, um, this public recognition with this um, star card in reverse, you know, possibly um, being, you know, a little bit hopeless, okay, is interesting to me, um, you know, with this, the, the truth, okay, Maybe the truth has been made public, okay? The truth has po possibly been made public, which is, or about to be made public. There could be a fear here of some, some things being illuminated, okay? Um, but there's definitely this, there's, you, somebody doesn't want to leave something behind. There's this stagnant, it's like somebody doesn't want to move forward for whatever reason, okay? And in the next stack, that's that's pretty much you know, like I said, you got this hangman in limbo, you know, and not not wanting to make a choice or being uh, in suspension, not wanting to face the situation of this possibly finances, but definitely like this group. This is a group thing, and and it's a. I think this is a relationship. This is a third party thing is what's come. I mean, this is how I'm taking it. There's a, I think you don't want to leave the relationship. Either you're the third party, you're the other man or the other woman. Or you know about the other man or the other woman. Okay? This is this is the the betrayal. This is the deceit. Okay, and and like I said, peeping eyes. Somebody's stalking somebody's uh, 
behavior or social media or text message maybe somebody's like sneaking into somebody's phone or whatever and for what I don't know I don't know for what because um, I believe it's very clear to you what's going on okay you're reminiscing about this this simpler time or whatever you're refusing to, to see what's in front of you okay you know that it's time to leave this situation all right um, but you're not wanting to go you don't want to leave this person behind and you know it's time this person is, is, is maybe being cold to you or you could be being cold to them because of what's happened. I know I'd be pretty cold if there was another bitch involved, okay? And for whatever reason, I didn't feel like I could move on. Um, there is possibly some children involved here as to why um, you're not wanting to move on, okay? You're not wanting to see the situation for what it is because there is a third party involved. This is a group thing. So unless y'all all plan on getting married and staying in the same house and becoming like Mormons or fucking uh, polygamists or whatever, probably not going to work out. So you get this Knight of Cups um, in reverse with this. I'm sorry, King of Cups in reverse with this uh, Two of Rods. Okay, so this is a some kind of like unstable possibly manipulative behavior all right at, at this crossroads there's been an offer made you you know the the offer could have been made by this manipulative person or you could be the manipulative person at a crossroads not knowing what to do about this offer being made and it comes it came out with this five of swords so this is like victory at all costs so somebody here is is really really not taking into consideration the other person's feelings or the other people's feelings probably everybody in this situation is not taking into con consideration the uh the other people's feelings okay I, I feel like everybody's really selfish in this situation and I don't think they want to be. I think everybody just wants what they want so bad that they kind of don't even see it as being selfish. You probably really are in love. You probably really do, you know, have have true feelings and history and possibly children and things like this. But um, it's not working out and it is time to move on. It's over. It's done. There's been too much. Once you pass a certain level, a, a certain point of um, deceit and and disrespect okay that's kind of a point of no return you kind of don't get to come back from that even as humans uh it's just not in us even though we may say that we forgive and we may say that and we may forgive and we may truly want to try to go on but, but once you disrespect the person to that level once you just have somebody so down i mean just at all costs it's like you crush something in that person or they've crushed something in you it's that you don't get that back it doesn't it doesn't work that way you could let it go and still respect the person but to to truly have that that tight bond and trust um, it just it, and from my experience it doesn't come back okay And this King of Swords, this is a fast acting. This is like all about like onward type of action, okay? Um, and, and it is a, a charismatic type of energy that could have been the fire that I was seeing. Like I said at the beginning, you know, it's, I feel like you are wanting to, there, there's some something to do with passion here that you're wanting to act on. And you have your focus, you have your focus on this thing um, and you you're kind of not wanting to see anything else, okay? Um, and you've got this seven of rods, all right? So there's there's conflict. You know, maybe he's going into battle, ready to to what to do whatever he has to do to to win this this battle that's going on, or it could be an internal battle, okay? But it it's a fast, fiery energy. And you get the sun on top of that with the uh, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, so I feel like there's 
to me, this is like divine knowledge and warmth and things coming to the light. So like I said um, over here, there is possibly some things either have come out or about to come out, some truth, okay, that has either already come out or is about to come out that is leaving someone hopeless. It's coming out for everyone to see, okay, everyone involved in this situation. All right, this this truth, this justice possibly do with the Libra doesn't have to be, but um, it it's it's going to cause uh, there's some change that definitely needs to be made here. But somebody is not wanting to see it or not wanting to move on for whatever reason. So the information is there. The the it's not that anybody doesn't have the information or is not about to get the information. I believe you already have the information, um, but it it's you're not wanting to move forward in this situation. You're resisting this turn of events. You're resisting this next cycle, okay? And there's there's some negative negative influences here for you. The when I get the wheel of fortune upside down, it's a it's a darker energy for me influencing the situation. And like I said, there's some third party, I can't even find the card. Y'all got so many fucking cards out that flew out the deck. Um this third party could also point to some overindulgence, you know, drugs, alcohol, uh, all great in moderation, I'm sure, but this is all the time, every time. So, let's pull you some Oracle cards, and I don't, I can't fucking remember the name to all these decks, I'm sorry, I know, and people ask, what deck is that, what deck is that, and I promise y'all, I try to do good about remembering Shadows and light. Okay, this is the shadows and light deck. Let me move this book y'all got over here. <laughs> so this is for Capricorn. Oh, these are stiff. Capricorn for the second half of September. Last half, last half of September. Look at y'all's cards. You see this? Like y'all do not want to make a decision or face a situation. Y'all are so fucking hesitant. Even your cards won't shuffle. I know you see this. And this video is long as fuck. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I give it to you how I get it. So this is Capricorn. For the last half of September, last half of September, can't even speak. For the spirit, look at that. Have to tell us what are we allowed to know? Capricorn for the last half of September. Magical space clearing time. Okay. And like I said at the beginning, um, I feel like you need to go into nature. Not necessarily, you don't have to go in the woods or hike a mountain or no shit like that. I mean, you could. It wouldn't be bad for you, but I mean, you could just go to the park or you could just like fucking go to your backyard or wherever is just peaceful for you. I feel like you really need to um, sit with yourself and really, really evaluate what's going on. You know, you, I feel, I mean, you're obviously you don't want to face this situation. There's several cards here that are you resisting the change and not wanting to face the situation. There's several cards here um, urging you that the decision does, does need to be made, okay, because the situation is very unhealthy, okay. So this um, this space clearing time, and like I said, I saw the trees and the teepee out in, the, in like an ice, I don't want to say isolated, because when I hear isolated, it doesn't make me feel good, but like alone time, okay, some alone time. You need to, to, to really figure some things out and possibly get out of that tunnel vision, okay? Get out of that, maybe see the bigger picture, okay? Put one more. Or whatever spirit says, y'all with these fucking big ass stacks flying out. For Capricorn, for the second half of September.
the three fates. Another three. It's three girls sitting there. Uh, what comes around, dot, dot, dot. What comes around goes around. And you see it's one little girl sitting there and she's like, hey. And then there's one little girl sitting there and she's like, bitch, whatever. And then there's one little girl sitting there and she's like, come at me. Y'all see that? What goes around comes around. So, if you're the third party, you better be careful, okay? It's like this. If you have to hide it, or if it's uncomfortable, or if you, if you, Think of how you would feel if if the, if it, the shoe was on the other foot, okay? And if it's any type of uncomfortable feeling, why would you want to put that on another human? Why, why would you do that? You wouldn't want it done to you. So why would you do that to them, okay? one from the animal deck. This video is damn near 40 minutes long. But I don't stop until I'm told that that's it. So I'm being told to pull more for you. Capricorn. For the last half of September. Does spirit have to tell us? In love and declarations of passion, heartfelt communication is the key. Okay, so, like I said, obviously there's a lot of, like, passion, okay? I'm, I'm not saying that you don't love this person, this person, or these people don't love you. Okay, that's real. But what's healthy and what's not healthy, you know what I mean? Like, we can't be doing a bunch of unhealthy shit. It's, it, it kills us on the inside, even on a cellular level. Y'all don't want me to go off into what that, what those type of emotions does to you on a physical cellular level over time. Okay. So, um, get, ha communicate, communicate, talk about it, be real about it, face it. Um, your sharpened senses allow you to observe the actions of others. Yeah, because there's something going on. There's some deceit, some betrayal. There's some some third party action. There's some overindulgence, some addictions. Okay, and you can observe that. You know it. Okay, and then through music, you recalm life's magic and grow strong in body and soul. So that that's another card about going in, going within, and restoring your your body and soul. Okay, so. That is it. Wow. <laughs> um, I hope you got something out of this. Um, again, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you know your Moon or Rising sign, do go back and check out the other videos for mid-month as I get them loaded. Um, and I will see you next time.